My compressor stays in the trailer 100% of the time. I never roll it out onto the job. <clears throat> I use this 100 foot hose that runs through the floor and, I, and the compressor is always plugged in. So when the trailer is powered up, I have air both in the trailer and on the job. But a question I had is, well, if I don't take it out, what do I do about draining it? It wouldn't be very efficient if I took the compressor out and drained it and then brought it back in. So how do I deal with that? It was a real simple fix. I put a three quarter inch hole in the floor of the trailer and I took a little chunk of scrap air hose, rubber air hose, and did an extension on the drain plug. And so all I have to do is reach down, flip the lever, and that's it. So no hauling it out even to uh, keep the air dry. Another question I get is, what's that little black box that I see in all your videos? This is my radio. It's a battery powered uh, Tivoli called PAL, real durable. I've had this thing for quite a long time. It's been dropped, it's been beaten up. It's uh, somewhat weatherproof and uh, I just find it has excellent sound and reception uh, for FM radio that I listen to. It does have a plug-in on the back so that I can uh, plug in my iPhone if I've got some music on that. I think the newer ones have dedicated uh, iPad plug-ins, but it's, uh, so in answer to the question, Tivoli Audio, it's their pal, and I do think they still make them. I think they've made these things for decades. Well, if you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the videos with others. If you want a set of my workbench plans or the total station plans, click on the link right here in the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.